All right. All right. Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, the man who taught us the truth. I'd like to say Shalom to you, Akiam, and few Akwaf, you men, women, and children that believe on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. It's your brother, Michael Ah. And brother, Yikaza Kwari. Coming at you with. Through the spirit and the power you have by Shema al the Lord willing to edify. And the title of this lesson is All Heathens Will Be Slaves. You know, we ain't finna beat around the bush. No, we're going thus saith the Lord. You know, mm -hmm. this is thus saith the Lord. All you <clears throat> heathens are going in chains. Because did not the so called Negro, Latino, and Native American go into captivity under all you nations? At one point in time and throughout history, you know, it's written, you know, it's already been documented. But what you didn't consider is that it's a recompense, you know, coming your way, man. Recompense going back to pay back. You mean you going to get paid back for all the atrocities and ill dealings that you committed against the children of Israel. And, and really, it starts with uh, Esau Edom, man, because you're the main offender. Of course, all you nations have offended. But Esau, you, you greatly offended, man. You touched the apple of the Lord's eye, and you took it a step further, man. You know, matter of fact, I, I'll show you give me that Baruch 4 and 6 real quick. You know, because it's well documented what you nations have done, you know. It's the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 6. It say, ye were sold to the nations... Not for your destruction, but because ye moved the most high to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemies. So we wasn't sold to you other nations just because y'all were better than us, smarter than us, you know what I'm saying, physically, you know, uh stronger than us mentally. No, what it read that again, Baba Shah. Is Baruch 4 and 6. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the Most High to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemies. And this is why we were sold to you, man. Because we transgressed the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. You know? See, the covenant that we made with the Heavenly Father, that didn't go nowhere, man. You know? That agreement... Is still being played out to this day. Why you think we under the curses? That was according. That was uh, what uh, that that was a part of the agreement. Moses told us, "Look, if you do this, you are gonna get blessed. If you do what Yahweh Shemuel Shah command you to do, you're gonna be blessed. He gave us the blessings, but he also said, if we do this, if we transgress the laws, statutes, and commandments of our, our Lord Yahweh Shemuel Shah, he also gave us curses, penalties." You know, that will fall upon our people for transgressing the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord, man. You got something? Yeah, kind of got a quick you got precept just to bag them up on how all the nations had us in captivity, you know, throughout the years. <clears throat> and it was because of we moved the Lord, you know, to wrath by the way of our, you know, going off. Mm -hmm. And it's Judges 3 and 12. And the children of Israel did evil. Again, in the sight of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem al mm. And the Lord strengthened Eglon, the king of Moab, against Israel because they had done evil in the sight of the Lord. Mm. And he gathered unto him the children of Ammon and Amalek and went and smote Israel and possessed the city of palm trees. So the children of Israel served Eglon the king of Moab, 18 years. You see, just to bag the brother up, man, you know, by the way of us going off, you know, going back to Baruch um, 4 and 16. I mean, 4 and 6, like it. Going back to Baruch 4 and 6. It says, ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. See, when one, it wasn't for the destruction of our entire nation to be wiped out, you know, as Esau going to be wiped out. He say, but because ye moved, the most high to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. And there was just an example of us being delivered unto the enemies. He said, the Lord strengthened um, Eglon, the king of Moab, 
and you, and they gather together like uh songs with eighty three. Mm-hmm. They 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 came together. Um, uh, Eglon, Moab, Ammon, and Amalek, Amalek. And, and they mm-hmm. smote smote the nation of Israel. You know, and put it and had us in captivity under Moab for eighteen years. You see, and they got to pay for that. But you got to do it. And if I may add, why did the Lord have these things fall upon us? Because, you know, Jake want to worship other guys, man. You got to understand something. Who was worshiping the golden calves? <laughs> After the Lord worked a marvelous work to deliver us from our enemies, you turn around and you serve the enemy's guys, man. Yeah. You know, you, you follow a, a multitude to do evil, you know. That's why uh, what it is, um, it's, it's Jeremiah uh, basically doing what the heathen do. Come. You know, we was never meant to do what they do, man. Mm. You know, dang, it's in Jeremiah. Um, what it is, you gonna try to find that for my? Well, let me see if I can look it up on my end. Jeremiah chapter twenty four, verse eleven. You rough paraphrase for me. It ain't falling on the most to do evil. This um Man, it just slipped my mind. Hold on, let me see. You know how when you get the um it's some similar to following out a multitude to do evil, but it's dealing with the heathen. Like, don't uh, follow their customs, basically. You know how, right? Uh, you're talking about um, I Jeremiah can't. 10. 10, okay. Jeremiah okay. 10, okay. Yeah. Jeremiah 10 and 2. Let me see. Jeremiah 10 and 2. Yeah, it's Jeremiah 10. Learn not the way of the That's heathen. That's what it is. The water. You'll grab that yeah, from me. The Jer- water. Jeremiah 10. I'm going to start from the top. It, yeah. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Mm-hmm. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, mm. and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for for are the heathen are dismayed at them. So the Lord told us straight up and down, what? Learn not the way of the heathen. But what did Jake do? Here it is. The Lord got us separated from these nations. We got our own laws, statutes, and commandments. We got our own customs. So it's no reason for us to follow after these heathens and worship the gods that they worship. But what did Jake do? Jake turned around and did the shit anyways. And Yahweh Shemal Shah being the jealous power that he is, hey, guess what? He had to bring down judgment. And if he brought judgment down upon us, you know, how much more the heathens? Mm-hmm. If he put us in captivity... How much more the heathens? Mm-hmm. Now, Bible Kishaw, you'll go to that uh, Revelations. Yep. <clears throat> Revelations 13 and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. So if you can understand, good for you. <laughs> you got it. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And this is justice right here. <clears throat> this is righteous judgment right here. This is just. How about Shemal Shah? He's comforting the elect right here. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. You know? All you nations played a, 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 a hand in the downfall of the Negro, Latino, and Native American, man. Because mm-hmm. you know if we transgress against our power, y'all got us. But when we return, guess what? What? Fear fell upon them. You know what I'm saying? That's when everybody gets scared. When we follow in the ways of Yahweh Shemal Shah, you other nations can't fuck with us, man. And you know that. That's why you push everything out on Jake, especially Esau, where uh, uh, woe to him that gives his neighbor a drink, uh, mm-hmm. bottle to drink, rough paraphrasing. You know Jake going the fuck out by eating pork. You pushing it on him. You pushing it down their throat, man. Then you trying to uh you trying to snitch on us to the heavenly father, man. Mm-hmm. Like, Lord, look what they doing. Look at these your people now. You know? But you didn't consider you're gonna be judged as well. You know? Yeah, the Lord got us. 
Well, our captivity is almost up. You know? That's why we're seeing a, a transitional power take place right now. Mm -hmm. You know, in the spirit. We we see how Bashmael Shai is bringing up the port. He's getting ready to lift up the port. You know? But, um, you got something? You got yeah, it. Yeah, I had a quick one to back you up. How you said all the nations played a part, you know, in us, you know, bringing us down. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this first Maccabees 2 and 10, it says, What nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten of her spoils. Mm. You see, that's just to prove that all nations, you know, had us, you know, in subjection, you know, some type of way. Like I just read, um, Moabites had us in subjection in the past 18 years. We in subjection right now under the damn Edomites, you see. Uh, uh, we were just going to, um, what, the ancient Babylonians. Mm -hmm. uh, Syrians. The Syrians. Uh, Medes and the Persians, mm -hmm. Romans, Greeks, all that, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it's going to continue to go on like this until our Lord Yahweh shall return, mm -hmm. you know, to put these heathens into slavery. And so like, if I may say, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. What? The Lord, he just said, well, this is the, uh, the patient and faith of the saints. Mm -hmm. This is what the elect is patiently waiting on, payback. See, it's not like you're going to escape scot-free. You know, I got some real quick. This second Thessalonians 1 and 6. It says, seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So this is righteous <laughs> in the sights of Yahweh Shemal Shah to fuck all you devils up, man. Mm -hmm. You know? All you nations gonna get it, man. You know? I got a quick Go ahead, one. you got it. Yeah, this um like I said, this the patience and the faith of the saints. This is Revelations 2 and That's spirit. In 26. You started at 25. In 25. Revelation 2 and 25. Matter of fact. Yeah, yeah. Revelation 2 and 25. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. Mm -hmm. You know, talking about this truth. It says. It's a lot. And it says. Um, Revelation 2 and 25 again. But that which ye have already hold fast Till I come. So this is just a waiting game. Going back to that patience. You know what I'm saying? We already know how the story is about to go. We we know how the movie set out to play. It's going to play into the hands of us when our Lord come back and destroy these devils and put these devils in chains, man. You know? But it's a waiting game. We got to wait. Because we can't do shit until Yahweh Shah come. Mm -hmm. But we've been comforted in these last days. Now, the Lord put the spirit on us to return and bless us with this marvelous truth. What? He also told us, look, hold fast. You know the report. You know what I'm finna do. Just hold fast. Mm -hmm. Just like you've been doing. You got it. And he that overcometh <clears throat> and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. So if we continue to be patient, we continue to hold fast to this doctrine. Guess what? We get we go, power over the nations. We're gonna get power over the nations. I got that definition for power. Mm -hmm. Um, this G eighteen forty nine is a power of choice, mm -hmm. liberty of doing as one pleases. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be able to do whatever the fuck we want to do to you heathens. Yeah. You know, we wanna make you sleep outside on an ant bed. That's what you're gonna have to do. Mm -hmm. You see? It says um, physical and mental power. It says the ability or strength with which one is endued, which he either possesses or exercises. It says the power of authority. Mm. So we're going to have authority over you nations. You know, you see the same way we got to go to you for the one of all things. Hey, that's going to that's gonna switch and it's going to be on our turn. You have to mm -hmm. come to us. For food, it ain't gonna be eating the most shrimp, crab, lobster, yeah. squid, dogs, cats, none of that shit. You gonna have to eat lawful. And if we catch you doing that shit, guess what? Judgment is gonna come upon you. Mm -hmm. Cause it ain't like you just gonna do whatever the fuck you wanna do in our kingdom. Cause nah, we gonna execute the judgment written. Like, to, so like I said, like power. We gonna have the liberty to do as we please mm -hmm. over you. So you catch you in port, we gonna sit and think like. What this what this damn heathen judgment gonna be? Mm -hmm. You know that's the power that we're gonna have, man. Mm.
And the Lord said, we're going to, our uh, minds are going to meditate terror. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so keep in mind, this is going to be a rigorous rule. Those first thousand years are going to be the worst years of you Edomite's life. And all you nations, really. Because all you going to get it. You know, here it is. We're going to be gods, spiritual powers. Y'all still going to be mortals, puny humans. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have the power to change the weather on your ass while you're in the field. We can have it uh, negative 20 degrees if we want to. And your bitch ass still got to go out there and pick whatever the hell we tell you to pick. Mm -hmm. And you got to deal with it. Same way we got to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Nigga want to pay us minimum wage and shit. We supposed to get paid on the same day. He ain't this, paying you shit. One, he want to make you wait two weeks and shit. You yeah. know? But I got something for you. This uh, Psalms 149 and 5. You got something else? Uh, I'll go ahead. Just go finish ahead. this off. Ahead, uh, Revelation it. 2 and 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall be. Shall they be broken to shivers, mm -hmm. even as I received of my father? Mm. So yeah, we gonna rule up you with a rod that? of iron, man. We gonna we gonna yeah, beat yeah. you. I know you've seen Jake. You know Jake might got a little stick. He beat the shit out of his dog. That's how we gonna do you niggas, man. Cause you you did us with whips. Mm -hmm. You know you did us with whips. And Moab, you took it there too. You did some detestable shit, man. You know, but you gotta pay for that. All of that has been recorded. It ain't went nowhere. This is recorded in the heavens. But I got some, uh, what Yahweh Shah said, even as I received of my father. You know? Mm -hmm. You nations are inheritance to Yahweh Shah. You was created to serve Yahweh Shah and us. Because what? Have we not been made joint heirs with Yahweh Shah? Mm -hmm. You know? Matter of fact, let me grab that. Let me grab that real quick. This uh Romans. 8 and 16, it says, The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And if children then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So we've been made joint heirs to Yahweh Shah, you know? And is not Yahweh Shah the king? You know what I'm saying? So whatever your how shot get, we gonna get. Mm -hmm. Because we've been made joint heirs, you know? Yep. But you got it. And we hold fast into this truth. Mm -hmm. And I got a um a quick precept to bag you up. This um Hebrews three and verse Let me get straight to point three and fourteen. It says, For we are made partakers of Hamashiach. Mm. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast until the end. Mm. So we're going to be made partakers, you know, with our Lord Yahweh Shai. We hold fast to this truth, you know, like the brother going to ruling over you nations. Because guess what? That was the blessing for Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. And we and we hold fast to this truth. We're going to be partakers of that. And um, when you go to this word partakers, it's G3353. It's a sharing in, partaking. It's a, a partner in a work, office, or dignity. Mm. So, hey, we're going to be partakers, you know, um, part of that government body, ruling the earth under our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai, this is why Yahweh Shai is to be worshipped and, and, and respected and praised, you know what I'm saying? Because we wouldn't have this opportunity if it wasn't for Yahweh Shai, you know? See, you Jakes really don't understand how important it is to reverence and acknowledge Yahweh Shai. Because if you want to be 100 with it, really Yahweh Shai could have took his side, his portion that he got from the Heavenly Father and kept everything to himself. And we wouldn't be shit. Mm -hmm. But what he did, he shared it. You go to that first definition you read. Now, right. I heard somebody share. Yeah, sharing in. Sharing in on whose inheritance. We sharing in on Yahweh Shai's inheritance, man. You know, this breaking bread with your brother. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord ain't just leave us hanging. He says, shit, I'm going to have slaves. You're going to have slaves. You know what I'm saying? I know that Jake, Jake, Jake like to look out with, with Jake. I'm going to bring the hood with me. Real shit. Jake going to look out for his partners. You know, but you got it all out. It's a lot. Uh, this uh, Psalms 149 and 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. 
let them sing aloud upon their beds. And this is going to be the spirit in the kingdom. How it feel to know you are God and a king. You know what I'm saying? You get up whenever you want. You do whatever you want. You got massive, you know what I'm saying, women around you and shit. We're going to be in a, a rejoicing spirit, you know? And all the glory is going to go to you. How about Shemal Shah? Because we're going to understand what he made this possible, man. You know, but continuing on, it says, let the high praises of the most high be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. And this is about to unfold right before our very eyes. You elites, you know what I'm saying? You motherfuckers that tried to keep us down. You had X'd out our, our true nature of our power. You didn't, You did nothing but rape, rob, and murder your way to the top. And you think ain't shit gonna happen to you, man. We gonna bind, it said what? Bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, man. We gonna bind you elites with chains, man. Meaning you going into slavery. You know what I'm saying? Well, we just read Revelation 13 and, and, and 9 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. You know? Are we not still under our oppressors, man? You know? We still under our oppressors to this day. Who's the main offender? That's what you have to ask yourself, Jake. Who constantly shits on you, man? With 12 years of slave. Who, who constantly show them down trying to beat your ass? Esau eat them, man, and the other nations. And they boast in it. They throw it in your face. They make statues and shit. You know what I'm saying? About them, they, they got museums out here of them whooping your ass, man. You know? But see, the Lord has blessed us, you know, with, with the comfort. You know? We understand you're not going to go unpunished. None of you niggas, none, none of you, you heathens, let me say that. None of you are going to go unpunished. You all are going into slavery, every last one of them. So vocab, you coming out with this shit. Every time you see Revelation 13 and, and 9 and 10, you don't like to acknowledge that, you know? But you ain't going to have no choice in the near future because you going to actually be in it. You going to actually be the one playing out Psalms 149, you know what I'm saying? Revelations 13 and 9 and many other scriptures. You know, you're going to be actually playing it out as we all is. But we're going to be on the good side, Lord will. Mm -hmm. We're going to be the one beating your ass, you know? Because we understand you ain't, you, you, you shit out of luck anyway, vocab, because you are, what, what is it, Edomite? Yeah, you a fucking Edomite anyway, though. you know what I'm saying? You a heathen. <laughs> you a German you know? cook. You a German cook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you got something out. No, nah, is it? Oh, shit, I think I got one more. I'm going to get up out of here. Uh, you get Psalms 2 and 9. Oh, uh, let me start at 8. Oh, sure. Book of Psalms, chapter 2, verse 8. And it says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, mm -hmm. and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So you heathens are our inheritance. You know what I'm saying? This is what the Heavenly Father have blessed us with. Slaves, because that's when you truly bless, mm -hmm. as the beloved apostle Taha said. You truly bless when you got slaves like you elites. You're blessed right now. Mm -hmm. You're in your blessing because you possess slaves. But we're gonna possess you. You know, you are inheritance, man. You know, but you got it out. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. So we're going to fuck you up. Every last one of you, you're going to get fucked up. Mm -hmm. And we so we going to make you go off just to fuck you up. All of you. We're going to make you go off. You know? We're going to put wicked thoughts in your mind for you to do <laughs> something off just so we can judge your ass according to the scriptures. Because it said we're going to execute the judgment written. Meaning we're going to pull scriptures out and court is in session, and now it, it, it's sentencing time. You know, it's going to be ass-whooping time, punishments, you know. 
But you got something out? No, nah, it's it out. Hey, but with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakadash. The bonus to the apostles and elders, great millstone, the male taught us your truth. Peace and blessings be to the hopeful elect, the men, women, and children that believe on the words of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Shalom. Shalom. DTA, Abal Babal. Soon.